we're back for another episode of Scout It. And today we have a very special guest in the building, Helen from Charlotte. It just introduce yourself to the people. My name is Nautica and I'm an R&B and hip hop artist. Um, I'm actually from Gasling in North Carolina, which is a little bit outside of Charlotte, uh-huh. but it's still basically a part of 704. Okay, cool. Yeah, I've been to Gastonia a few times. Like, you said Gas- yeah. Gastonia? Gastonia. Okay. Gas House. <laughs> okay, cool, cool. So how are you feeling today? I'm feeling good. It's been pretty chill. Um, good New Year's. It's been really smooth. Nothing crazy has happened, so I can't complain. Good to hear it. Yeah, we just... Just not keeping out 2021, and that's it's crazy to even say that. I feel like last year, I know big blur. Mm-hmm. Well, let's get into who you are as an artist. Um, you know, I know you started off in the choir that had like a lot of had a lot to do with your upbringing and music. Um, but where else did you draw your inspiration from? I know you're a hip hop and R&B artist, so that's a, quite the package. Um, well, I, I started in choir by accident. Actually, my best friend decided to do chorus growing up, and I kind of just followed her lead just so I could have something to do. Mm-hmm. I didn't want to take Spanish, so it just happened. And then in the process of me basically fooling around with her, and we laughing and joking, my chorus, my choral teacher, she would always make me sing solos, or she'd make me audition, and I'm like, why is this woman picking on me? She just picking on me, but she really was just, she saw something in me that I didn't see in myself. And it kind of made me fall in love with being on stage. And um, as time went on, I ended up loving Janet Jackson, her performances, um, Madonna, Tina Turner, especially. I love Tina. And then um, Rihanna. So those are my performances. That's pretty tough. Like, yeah, I could kind of see that um, even in your style when it comes to wardrobe. Mm -hmm. And I've seen a few of your performances after doing some research. And I can kind of identify those, I think those are some great people to idolize um, after. Now, let's talk about Naughty by, well, Naughty If You're Nasty. Mm-hmm. What was it like? What was the process for that project? Well, since that was actually like my first project, I wanted it to be more urban, more street, more club type records. Mm-hmm. And it was really weird, like, I guess, coming from people not even knowing that you do music seriously to being completely out there and really presenting yourself in a different way than what most people would see. It was really just different for me. But in a sense, I kind of needed to break out of that shell and really identify who I am as Nautica and then who I am as Nautica the artist because, you know, it's a difference. And I felt like I'm not going to say I have like alter egos, but I would say the reason I name it Naughty if you're nasty, because I wanted Naughty to be kind of a separate entity from Nautica, making it a little bit different, but still just being me. Okay. I like that. I like it. So if someone were to ask who is Nautica and who is Naughty, like what would you, how would you differentiate the two? But who's I would the- say Nautica is more... Nautica is more Janet and she's more sensual more of course she's sexy and you know she's she's effortlessly effortlessly like the bomb but she's not really trying to do it it's just you know it just is what it is Mm -hmm. she's wearing the jeans the crop tops things like that but then Nadia is more hood more Rihanna more in the club you know like we okay with putting the titties out (laughs) (laughs) pork and stuff like that So it's the same girl, but just different parts of it. And I feel like every woman has that in them. It's just, it's not as like separated. Okay. Yeah. I think, I think as women, we are definitely multifaceted. So I think that's a great way to kind of sum that up who you are as a person on both ends. Um, Now with Naughty, Naughty If You're Nasty, do you feel like you had a great mixture of the hip hop and the R&B? Or should we be expecting something from more like, introduced as not a cut in the R&B lane of things. I, I think there was a little bit of hip hop as far as I had Bougie on there, which was super hip hop, mm-hmm. Coca, Coca Remix featuring Rich Dunk. And I want to say um, I'm a freak, a little bit of pop in there, but mm-hmm. I feel like four out of the 10 records were hip hop. And I felt like that was enough to really like sum her up just because those were the biggest records that people really identified with and gravitated to. And then I would say coming forward, I would be doing more of Nautica and kind of transition it to get it more sexy, more, you know, effortless, things like that, you know? 
I like it. I like it. I'm glad you touched on Coca because I love that song. When I played that, I was like, okay, yeah. I knew you were going to say that. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely enter if you were her. Like, I love it. Um, I think it's a hit. Is Would you say it's your leading single off of your project? Okay. Definitely. That's the one I've been um, doing a lot of club runs with, DJ plays, mixtapes, things like that. Um, I really wanted to just because I didn't really knew who, I didn't really know who I was starting out as an artist. Mm-hmm. I really kind of just wanted to have those mixtures on there of the different type of personalities I was feeling with Nautica and Naughty. And then as time went on, just looking to see what other people gravitated to, see what they were really pulling towards and what type of crowds were gravitating towards those. And that's kind of how I decided to, you know, coin those. Yeah, that's pretty, pretty dope. I'm glad you actually touched on um, the fact that you featured Rich Dunk on the remix, uh, because I want to know what stood out about Dunk himself to really have him, because, you know, BDB, everybody's doing great. Like, he even added, the baby even added some newer artists, but what I was really like, so I just want to know from your point of view, what was it about Mm -hmm. Dunk that you said he has to get on the remix? Well, we actually record a lot of times at the same studio, so we're always, like, around each other. And his personality is just real chill. He's not somebody who's, like, trying to take the show. Like, whenever he heard the record, first, I just wanted to make sure that he liked it. And he was like, I just, like, this shit rock. I can do that. I can do that. So then he just got in there. He did it real smooth, real easy, and it was real natural. Like, we didn't have to force anything, or it didn't feel like I was basically like, you know, let's just try it. Let's just try it. It just came really natural. So yeah. that's why I went with that one. Oh, okay. Cool. Do you think you'll do any work with BDB here in the future? Like whether it's with Dunk again or any other artists from the camp? Well, I'm definitely looking to um, continue to collaborate just because most of them are from 704 anyways. Mm -hmm. So I would love to work with any of them. Stunna, um, we're very close in age. And then the baby, any of them. And the the new girl, um, Kekila. I really like her style. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, She's a lot of energy. That'll be very dope. Um, to see now I know Naughty If You Nasty was like your first project you know introducing yourself as an Mm -hmm. artist but had you attempted um at like any maybe mixtapes you know any EPs before now that because I couldn't find no EPs no no (laughs) (laughs) no EPs no mixtapes but I did used to do like covers I still have one of them up on my YouTube and what I would basically do is, like, take one popular song with another one and kind of mix them together. And that's how I would, like, make my own song without actually making my own song. <laughs> okay, cool. Sounds, I mean, that sounds pretty solid. That sounds pretty solid. Like, what are you hoping for with your journey? Um, well, how long have you been being an artist? I know the your project dropped mid last year, like, around June, right? Mm-hmm. Um, what are you hoping for, like, within this year? to really expand on now that you're putting your face out there I feel like you have the image like you have the sound the versatility I think is going to be really dope um right now I'm really focused on branding and like building a solid team I feel like before I really get to the point of actually marketing myself hardcore or actually trying to get to a bigger audience I really want to have the smaller things established as far as like in my brand my content making sure I have enough content making sure we're continuing to put content out as far as pictures visualizers videos things like that and i definitely need to do some music videos so <laughs> oh yeah are you gonna like you think maybe a video to coca <laughs> <laughs> well i am yes <laughs> okay <laughs> i love that song girl can't leave a lot to you i really do <laughs> thank you um are with the influences that you have and you said janet madonna um, rihanna like they're all great artists as we've acknowledged but they're very different um, on different ends of the spectrum and so with that being so like do you think you'll ever kind of shift into other lanes aside from hip-hop or r&b I don't know. I think I would like to do, because listening to Madonna and Rihanna, they, I don't really even know if you consider that pop music because the way they sing their songs, it comes like kind of grungy, kind of edgy. I really like that type of feel. I love the, the aesthetic of the gothic look and things like that. That's really what I'm like looking at, but I don't even know if you would consider that pop music or if that would be considered anything else other than R&B, you know? Yeah. Um, with Rihanna, it's so it's so hard to catch. It's her. hard, right? Yeah. yeah. Like, you can get something like Rated R, which was more of the edge, kind of like 
popish punk type of thing and exactly. it and then you can get the anti Rihanna which is like very R and B. Um, it's very R and B, a little hip hop, a little yeah. you know, it's kinda like I like walking those like weird lines of not really knowing where to put stuff because then that way you can't really compare it to anything, you know? Yeah, no, nah, I definitely think that's important. Like, um, and that's this day and age with the many women, like well, female artists that we have popping up, I feel like everyone has their own distinct spark. And so mm-hmm. now that we're like kind of touching on that, like what do you think about the female unity and where us as women have we've impact the music industry and like in general like what are your thoughts on that it's honestly like amazing to see how many women are able to continue to grow and move forward and it's not just one or it's not just two and on top of that i love that we all look different you know what i mean and yeah. before it was a certain type of look that was super popular and then before that it was a certain type of look that was super popular but i love that we're all able to come together and stand beside each other without the well obviously people are going to compare but mm-hmm. it's not as bad as it used to be and it's not like only one can be there i love to see that there are multiple in the conversation even when they're, they're doing the things like to turn people against each other it's still like you're still a part of the conversation you know yeah yeah a hundred percent um I will say one thing because I watch other people's interviews all the time and I feel like whenever speaking to female artists it's always a thing a push of sex appeal and I think mm-hmm. though I think sex appeal is something that's important um to have like that does sell I don't think that's the only big factor for a female artist so right. what are some other things that you think um a female artist should kind of like stand on or represent well for me um one thing that i've been like really figuring out or trying to figure out how to bring it to my brand and really make a part of that was the fact that i'm a single mom Mm -hmm. and i think that a lot of times people don't really showcase the struggle or the hard parts that come with being an artist because it's a lot of stuff that goes on behind the scenes that people just don't get to see and a lot of times people don't understand the the struggle that comes with it so I really want to figure out a way to bring that into my brand and really stand on that you know and not lean so much towards sexuality because I've noticed that a lot of people relate to me more once I tell them my story and they see my son on my Instagram feed and they see him and you know things like that so yeah yeah, well, I think your camp has done like a great job with pushing you and like branding and focusing on you. Um, I think you have a great backing on that from what Thank I've you. seen. Um, but um, do you think that your project got the feedback that you were looking for? Yes, and only because I'm gonna say I wasn't necessarily looking for numbers. I was more so looking for me within the project. Mm -hmm. I really wanted to, like I said, just test some things and because they were all technically like a part of who I am, but I really wanted to test some things and just try new, new ways of doing what I'd already been trying to do before then. Because like I said, I'd been doing the covers, but of course doing covers, it's not your own music. It's not your voice. Mm -hmm. It's not what you actually want to say. Even if you find the right song that's very close to how you feel, it's not actually you as an artist. So I really just wanted to test some things. And then within testing, just try different music videos. Cause I've done some music videos and I took them down and I did some visualizers and I took them down. I really just wanted to figure out who I was as an artist. Okay, yeah. Um, I think I did see one of your videos. It was, I don't think it was a song on the project, but even then I, I kind of get like a feel of who you are as an artist and mm-hmm. what to look forward to. So are there any um, like styles you're looking to push coming forward? Mm-hmm. I really want to do something like different, like as far as like maybe some gothic wear or maybe even like some of this, like I think it's the 60s, like pinup girls. Oh yeah, like yeah. I want to do something like that just because I haven't seen anyone else do it. So if you see somebody else doing it after this, you know it came from me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it's it's crazy how style kind of repeats itself. Uh, it does, but I don't know. I've just been kind of because I feel like it kind of fits into my brand, but in the same sense, it's just like it's different. I haven't seen no one else do it. I'm kind of leaning towards like a nautical theme. I don't know. Yeah, well, pretty tough. Um, you know, I, I, as I stated earlier. North Carolina as a whole is really, really heating up. I'm more in like the triad areas, like the Trey Four, um, mm-hmm. which is very different from the music coming out of the 704. Um, mm-hmm. What do you think that you, about you is different and bring, what do you think you bring to the music scene in North Carolina? Hmm. I'm going to say 
just because I've seen a lot of the women that are rapping, mm -hmm. they're more so doing hardcore rap. Yeah. And having said, I lean a little bit towards the more sexuality rap and sensuality. I feel like that's what makes me unique. And then, I'm sorry about that. Mm -hmm. That's what makes me, that's what makes me unique in a sense, because I'm not necessarily rapping as aggressive. And I'm also not wearing like more urban clothes. It's more so fitted. It's more revealing, things like that. Oh, okay. Sounds good. Well, I'm certainly looking forward to everything that you have coming. You know, I think this was definitely a start, but I feel like just having a conversation with you, you have a lot of things coming. We had a lot of way. <laughs> <laughs> a lot, a lot coming. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. I love female artists coming up because it's hard. Honestly, it's hard to find um, people that you can identify with. Um, right. I would say, yes, a lot of things are I'm starting to be it's starting to be different. So not everyone is rapping about the same thing, but like you said, you put your story into your music, and I feel like that's going to be something that takes to you a lot further than most. So I'm excited to see what you have coming. Um, Thank you so much. Yeah, no worries. Uh, one last thing, I just want to know what is something that you live by, whether artists in life, anything. Well, something um, recently that just came up in my life that I've been trying to really focus on was um, teamwork, as I mentioned before, mm -hmm. and really uh, not allowing small things to hinder the big project. You know what I mean? Yeah. And I really wanted to focus on um, for 2021, just continuing to talk to people and work on relationships because I forgot who said it, but they were like, I think it was Kanye. He said, what if we looked at relationships as a new currency? You know, mm -hmm. so that's my whole thing now. Just staying down with the same people I start with, continue to work things out and growing. Yeah, that's a bar. I, I love that. <laughs> <laughs> now, I think relationships, I feel like that's probably something that's been carried me the furthest within my career. Right. Just really pouring into people that pour into me and trying to be impactful in any way possible. So I think that's something dope to live by. Is there anything that you would tell someone coming up in the same like lane as you, or maybe even maybe inspired by you in some way, what would you tell those people? I would say, um, don't look to everyone else for resources, but make yourself the source. Dope. Well, y'all heard it here <laughs> from Nautica, you know, go stream Naughty if you're nasty and tell the people where they can find you. You can find me on Instagram at Naughty Too Hotty, N A U T I T O O H O T T Y, Twitter, Naughty Too Hotty, N A U T I T O O H O T T Y, Facebook, Nautica, that's N A U T I C A H, um, TikTok, Nautica, N A U T I C A H, and my website, Nautica.com. Well, perfect. Y'all heard it here. Go stream Naughty if you're nasty once more. And check her out. It's been pretty real. Thank you again, Nautica, for tuning in. Thank you so much. Your nigga call me mommy, he can sloppy toppy, toppy, toppy. No, I get it poppy, he gon' call me naughty. Harder than a rocket, he gon' touch my body. Pull up, let it see that drive on suicidal. I'm a bad little bitch with an attitude. Fly me out, get crazy, he gon' do it too. Bad bitch with the rover, he coming over. Greasy Missy, get the kitty, cruising like a coaster. Put this pussy on the poster, he getting closer. Do my leg on his shoulder, let the soul fly. He, he gon' hit it all night, he beat it like a soldier. I love the way he eat it good, yeah, he love this coca. I'm gon' make a spin all at his breeze. Make that nigga Jenny Creek. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He gon' knock it up, Debo and Creek. Had that nigga sleeping through the feet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm the baddest bitch, that's what I see. That's what I said, bitch. He gon' ride on crazy like a sleigh. He know that I can take it, never scared. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I get money, you get dick and stay. Your nigga call me mommy, he get sloppy toppy. toppy, toppy. No, I get it poppy, he gon' call me naughty. Harder than a rocket, he gon' touch my body Pull up, let it see that drive on suicidal I'm a bad little bitch with an attitude Fly me out, get crazy, he gon' do it too Bad bitch with the rover, he coming over Greasy Missy, get the kitty, cruising like a coaster Put this pussy on your brain, boy, you go insane, boy Better have my money when I call, boy Ain't no place, boy Bitches cat, I'm calling they bluff 
Bitch get slick, I'm lining shit up Let her rack in my pants, I fuck shit up Bitch get slick if you wanna play tough He fucking with me, get jiggy He love my laugh, I'm so silly Got them bopping like Diggy That cocaine look like Iggy Think I love him, I need him I'm just playing, I'm kidding You know you wish you could be me I'm clowning on you like 50 Pussy on a poster, he getting closer Threw my leg on his shoulder Let the sofa, he gon' hit it all night He beat it like a soldier I love the way he eat it good Yeah, he love this coca Yeah, nigga call me mommy, he get sloppy toppy No, I get it poppy, he gon' call me naughty Harder than a rocket, he gon' touch my body Pull up, let it see that drive on suicidal I'm a bad little bitch with an attitude Fly me, y'all get crazy, he gon' do it too Bad bitch with the rover, he coming over Breezy Missy, get the kitty cruising like a coaster Red Velvet Poppy. I'm a rapper from New York, um, and it's good to be here. Thank you for having me. I'm glad to have you. And what part of New York are you hailing from? Um, I'm I'm in uh, Westchester County right now, so right outside.